At Cumberland County Schools, we are doing everything we can to help with COVID testing. COVID cases are currently on the rise, and CCS is trying to make it as easy as possible for our students and employees to get tested. CCS has recently teamed up with Mako Medical to supply and administer testing to those that have symptoms or believe that they have come in contact with someone that is COVID positive. We met with Shirley Bolden, Cumberland County Schools Director of Health Services, to ask what the steps are to get tested. In an effort to um, identify positive cases early, um, identification of positives early will benefit us in many ways, especially with keeping our doors open, but also with slowing the spread of the virus. Our mitigation strategies are universal masking. In addition to that, we have screening testing weekly for students and staff. We're following the three W's. We're asking our staff and students to wash, wear, and wait. We also are um, physical distancing to the greatest extent possible. Staff may show up and register on site. We do require parental consent, but if there is a screening taking place at your child's school, you may show up that day and register at the site. You can show up. We prefer that you pre-register, but you can show up the day of if you're a student and, and you'll have to have your parent come in so that your parent can assist you with the registration process. Any student enrolled in our K-12 program and any um, employee who works for Cumberland County Schools is eligible to be tested. Um, we have over 40 testing sites in our community. The Cumberland County Department of Public Health is testing Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And um, Cape Fear Valley North Pavilion tests Tuesday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's no cost to students or staff. You do not have to be exhibiting symptoms. Again, we just want to check wellness, and that's the purpose of having the screening testing every week. And um, just encouraging folk, if they're not well, to stay home. Oh, very easy. Um, very easy, very quick. You come in, they swab your nose. Uh, great thing about it, you get a response back in like about two and a half, three hours. So very timely as well. Well, you always have to be concerned about it. Um, I'm not sure how much we can do about them becoming positive. What we do is follow the regulations, keep our mask on, try to keep this as much as possible and, and hope for the best. <laughs> According to health officials, there has been a surge in positive COVID-19 cases since the start of the holiday season. At Cumberland County Schools, face coverings, hand washing, and appropriate social distancing continue to be of the utmost importance as we work together to limit the spread of COVID. The CDC recommends that everyone ages five years and older get a COVID-19 vaccine to help protect against the virus. Individuals who have COVID symptoms or have been exposed to the virus are urged to get tested prior to returning to CCS campuses and office buildings. Be safe, get vaccinated. <laughs> While Cumberland County Schools is doing everything we can to supply testing to our students and employees, we would like to thank our Cumberland County Board of Education for their great efforts in helping to guide and assist our leadership in these trying times. The Cumberland County Association of Principals and Assistant Principals have created a video to show their appreciation for the Board of Education. From the E.E. E. Smith District and Reed Ross Classical School, we'd like to take the time to say thank you to the CCS School Board for your hard work and dedication in leading our county. Happy School Board Appreciation Month. Hello, I would like to take this time to say thank you to all of our board members. We appreciate the hard work you do each day for all of the stakeholders in Cumberland County. Your dedication and commitment during these difficult times is very much appreciated. Hello from Grace Creek Middle School District. To the nine members of the Cumberland County Schools Board of Education, I would like to thank you all for the hard work and the decisions that you make on behalf of the students in Cumberland County Schools. The students and parents, the principals, teachers, staff, and the Grace Creek community appreciate your dedication and promise to put the education and the needs of our students first. During this unprecedented time with the COVID pandemic and the social and cultural differences we are experiencing today in our society and our world, your jobs have been more challenging and demanding than ever. So from the Grace Creek School District, we would like to thank you again for your commitment and devotion to Cumberland County Schools and all that you do for our students. Thank you. On behalf of the students at Long Hill, home of the mighty Mustangs, the fourth and fifth grade student council presidents,
We want to thank you, our Board of Education, for giving us your final review. Help us.